Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another Tablescape video. So it is January 6th, which means, unfortunately, Christmas is coming down at the Smith house and we are moving into winter decor. Now I don't do near, I don't do nearly as much any decor as Christmas, except, well, still not as much, but I do the most Valentine's Day um, <laughs> of any other holiday. So we do very little for winter since it's a short amount of time before Valentine's Day starts. But I do have a few things I like to put up for winter and a few of my Christmas decor, like my mercury glass trees and things of that nature, I do like to leave up the entire winter season as opposed to just Christmas. So if the puppies will let us, we are going to take down our Christmas table and we're going to switch it out for winter. We're going to use a few of the same things, mostly the um, silverware and maybe the chargers, maybe not, but definitely the table runners. So we're going to start by removing our main Christmas things, the gingerbread house and the pretty um, Christmas salad plates that I love. I will link the whole Christmas tablescape down below. So if you guys want to go see every single thing, you can check it out there. But for now, I'm going to deconstruct this table and then we'll get started with the winter things. I want to leave my gingerbread out year round. I love it so much. also love these these plates these are let me bring them closer they're Fitz and Floyd and they have Santa and some little woodland animals and if you don't know like this whole pink pastel seafoam thing is like literally the epitome of my vibe so as soon as I saw them, I was like, okay, that, that's what I need right there. But it's a whole collection. The Classic Choices Winter Holiday Santa Portrait. And while I love the salad plates, there is a pink Santa. They have a statue, they have a cookie jar. There's a few different Fitz and Floyd pieces that go with this collection. I don't know which one, but eventually I need one of them. All right, I'm going to go with these champagne-like chargers instead of the snowflakes, because our plates have a lot of detailer on the rim, and I want that to stand out. So while the snowflake chargers would be pretty, I think they would take a little of the attention away from the plates. And these are by Style Home, or Style House, excuse me. I picked them up at a thrift shop and they're just simple. They have branches and pine cones around the edges. And I just think they're pretty for winter. We're going to switch out that cake stand in the middle for a lower Lazy Susan because don't need so much height for this centerpiece. Which is going to be the DIY snow gloves we made for the island over Christmas. I will link to the post below, but these are literally glass cloches 
with fake snow and the pretty resin trees we poured with our deep pour. And then I have the Cricut cut cloche that I made a couple years ago. This is one of my all time favorite things and you can get the cut files to make this with your Cricut uh, on my site. I will link it down below. I always feel weird saying that. I will link it down below, but you guys always ask for the links, so. All right. Much more wintry than the gingerbread. Oh. We have all kinds of different colors of these resin trees. So I may switch out a pink sea foam and clear in this one and copper and clear in this one. We may switch those out to all clear or all blue, I'm not sure. I'm going to switch my green knife press out for the blue ones. And we're going to pair the blue knife press with my blue glasses to bring out the blue of the plates. Last but not least, I have a few little resin iridescent flaked mountains. I used these for my winter table last year and they were super cute. So I just like to put them in the middle of the plates here, kind of as a decoration. You can put your napkins under them. You can put placeholders on them. I don't know where the other two are, but I will find them before my friends come over. <laughs> Either way, that is it for this table. And it was a quick switch out from Christmas, um, but that's okay. Like I said, it's only gonna be up for a week or two as opposed to usually I like to leave my tablescapes up for a month. I do, you know, I do have to take everything down and wash it before we use it, but I just like it to be set up and pretty. And I know that doesn't work for everyone, but it works for me, especially because with my giant island, I sit at the island for most meals unless I have friends and family over. So, ta-da! I will bring you in for a close-up, but you will notice that it's very similar to my winter tablescape from last year. I also am a huge believer in using what you have and not necessarily um, buying new things for every single season. So we're using the same plates, the same chargers, the same silverware as last year but I switched out the centerpiece, so it does look new and different to me at least. And if you want to see what I used last year, I will link that down below. You can check it out. In the meantime, I will bring y'all in for a close up and I will see y'all in the next video shortly to update my table once again for Valentine's Day. My all pink table of my dreams. I love Valentine's Day. All right, y'all. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, show your friends, tell your mom. See you next year. It's already January. I will see y'all next month. Hope you liked it. Come on, Shug. Let's go play.